Welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today's tutorial is going to be a little bit short because I'm working on a secret project that's going to allow you to create your own YouTube channel art like this. You'll be able to create banners at the top of your screen and all the little thumbnails that go into your YouTube channel. I'm really excited about it, but I'm not going to tell you anything more about it right now. It's coming though. Okay, the logo creator has a really cool feature that most editing applications have copy and paste, but few people are utilizing this with the logo creator. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you some tricks you can use with copy and paste. Let's say you're in Google and you're looking for images of puppies. You go to the images tab, find the puppy you like, and click view image. You can do this in Windows or Mac. And then simply right click over it, copy the image, go back to the logo creator, and under the edit menu, Paste your image. Boom, you got your puppy. Ta da! And you don't necessarily need to use Google Images, you can use any paint program you might have on your desktop. For example, let's say you're in Windows and you have the default paint program. And you have a picture on your desktop, like this one. Did you know you can click and drag in Windows 8 into paint? Pretty cool. So here's a picture of me and my family. I don't want the whole picture, I just want a piece of it. So in paint, I can hit the select button, select just, just the part of the image that I want, and copy it. Go back into the logo creator. Here's my logo I'm creating. Go under edit and paste the image. And here's us. And there you go. It's a banner in the making. And by the way, this little robot is for a future logo set. Don't tell anybody. You can use any program that allows you to copy and paste images between them. For example, let's say you're in PowerPoint or on my Mac I have Keynote. Let's say I want one of the images from my PowerPoint or Keynote presentation. Like for example, I like the bird. So in both PowerPoint and Keynote, I can right click over the image and simply copy it. Go back to the logo creator and I don't have to go to the edit menu. I can use Command V or Control V. Paste. Easy as that. Five seconds later, a brand new banner. You can also copy and paste from the logo creator into the other program. Let's say, for example, I have a really cool character that I like in the logo creator. I can copy him, edit, copy image, go back to Keynote or PowerPoint, and I can paste it, delete him, paste it into my slide. And now I have the character in a PowerPoint presentation. And in some programs, I can copy multiple images. If I copy my character and hold the shift key down and copy the other image, you'll notice it's selected and it's selected. And I copy both of them together, go back to the logo creator, I can paste both of them together as one image. <laughs> There's all kinds of cool things you can do with the copy and paste features of the Logo Creator. Don't be afraid to use multiple programs with the Logo Creator. The Logo Creator is awesome, but it can't do everything. So if there's anything you need to edit, you can bring your image into Paint or something on the Mac. Edit the image with the powerful tools of your image editing program. Select the part you want, copy it, go back to the Logo Creator, and paste it. And there you go, a quick way to edit an image using other tools. I hope this copy and paste tutorial helped you, so go out and have fun with the logo.